Hey there gang, what's up and welcome back to another video on streaming stars. The success of Netflix is known worldwide, but 10,000 miles away there's another king ruling which gives Netflix a tough competition in the Aussie world. In 2015, the success of Netflix interested the board to expand its territories in the Australian continent, but Stan, being launched two months prior, was already a hero for the locals, which suggested a tough competition for Netflix in Australia. Although Netflix is above any streaming service in the world, Stan has managed to gather several loyal streamers too. So to seek out which one is better, let's compare both of the streaming services in comparison to cost, resolution, library, content, and the devices it can work on. But before we do that, make sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any more of our upcoming videos. Alright, let's get to it guys. Number 1. Cost and Trials First things first, let's analyze the financial aspect of the two streaming services. There isn't much different when it comes to price. Both streamers offer three different packages, namely Basic Plan, Standard Plan, and Premium Plan. While Netflix charges $9.99, $13.99, and $19.99, Stan charges $10, $14, and $17 as the package increases. The major difference is in the premium package, where Stan charges almost $2.99 less than Netflix. While you're at it, I don't think it makes a difference if you spend $2 more to satisfy your preference. It all comes down to the library and what each of them offers. Coming to free trials, before March of this year, Netflix 2 offered a 30-day period of free trial but recently stopped it as they required new users to pay an upfront rather than a test run for a month. But Stan continues to offer and lets you determine if you decide after testing out their service for 30 days. As far as cancelling your subscription goes, you're free to do it anytime on both servers before the next billing. Number 2. What's in the Library The game of SVOD libraries is very subjective. It changes through time which shows getting on and off depending on the viewership buying and selling shows that bring in more profit. While Netflix has about 5,000 plus names to choose from, offering about 3,500 plus movies and 1,800 plus shows including their originals, Stan backs up with 1,300 to 1,700 movies and 500 plus shows. Both catalogs span from movies to TV shows to documentaries, but the size of the catalog clearly states how Netflix takes the crown in this category, but is also justifiable as Netflix is more global than Stan. Stan, on the other hand, offers some of the best TV shows such as The Office, Better Call Saul, The O.C., Grey's Anatomy, Billions, Friends, Normal People, and Seinfeld. It also bagged the rights for the new sensation and Academy Award winner Parasite. Netflix has Sons of Anarchy, Breaking Bad, Peaky Blinders, Friends, How I Met Your Mother, Brooklyn 99, Riverdale, The Bodyguard, The Crown, Gossip Girl, and Gilmore Girls. Each platform offers a wide variety of movies and TV shows to choose from, but let's jump to their original content. Number 3. Original Content When it comes to originals, Netflix easily dominates the game. Netflix, as soon as it started, gave us the masterpiece House of Cards and has been throwing out such shows one by one. Not only did Netflix receive critical acclaim for its shows like House of Cards, Stranger Things, BoJack Horseman, and not to mention Ozark, which has received a total of 18 Emmy nominations this year, their movies like The Kissing Booth and To All the Boys I Loved Before topped the rom-com charts the year they came out and their sequels were a smash hit too. Marriage Story was critically acclaimed as well and received an Oscar for Laura Dern's performance. Now for Stan, No Activity, Plonk, Wolf Creek, Romper Stomper, The Other Guy, Bloom, The Commons, and The Gloaming were mostly a success. Relic, Australian Lockdown Comedy Festival, Australian Lockdown Comedy Festival and True History of the Kelly Gang are also good movies and originals on Stan. Number 4. Devices and Multiple Users 
This is one of the major factors that attract subscribers. Being able to use Netflix or Stan on multiple devices can help users figure out their best options. Fortunately, both provide an array of different devices to use their service on, from mobile apps to gaming consoles, smart TVs to PCs. They both are compatible with Windows, Android and iOS users. Another factor that can help you determine your choice is the number of users on a single subscription. With the basic plan, Netflix and Stan both offer one screen at a time, while in the premium category, both offer four users at the same time at a slightly different price point. Stan is cheaper when it comes to sharing screens, while Netflix asks for a dollar or two more. Number 5. Resolution Games and Storage Data Netflix and Stan both offer SD, HD, and Ultra HD, which heavily depend on the plan you subscribe to. For basic plan, Stan requires 1.3 GB an hour, while Netflix requires as little as 700 MB per hour, but their standard and premium plans require the same amount with the standard at 3 GB an hour and premium 7 GB an hour. For resolution, Netflix requires a speed of 1.5 Mbps to qualify for good quality, 3 Mbps for SD, 5 Mbps for HD, and 25 Mbps for Ultra HD. With Stan, the Mbps vary a little. 2 Mbps provide good quality, 3 Mbps provide SD, 4.5 Mbps to 7.5 Mbps for HD and as little as 15 Mbps for Ultra HD to avoid buffering in either case. Number 6. Watch Offline Nowadays, watching offline has become the best pastime anywhere you go. While some people prefer music while traveling or waiting in a large queue, others largely prefer finishing their leftover episodes or movies while waiting. Both streaming platforms were wise enough to offer offline streaming by downloading beforehand, but it largely depends on your device's storage as well. For Netflix, the video downloaded expires in 48 hours after you press play once, while others can last up to 7 days. On Stan, downloaded shows and movies can last up to 30 days, but once you press play, they expire after 48 hours. Number 7. Worldwide Ranking While we have analyzed the important features, let's take a look at what the world suggests. Netflix is the streaming giant that has about 182 million subscribers which is increasing as we speak. But Stan doesn't back up without a fight, bagging over 1.8 million subscribers worldwide. It's actually surprising to know that many Australians prefer Stan over Netflix and it's all because of the better offers in local productions. In the analysis, Netflix was awarded the first position while Stan landed on the second position for this year. Stan has ultimately beat Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime Video, Binge, and Apple TV+. Stan is easily known as the Australian counterpart of Netflix in Australia and has been called the local hero many times. This ranking also concludes that Stan is climbing up the ladder to give Netflix its long-awaited competition. Seeing Stan's success, the days of being neck-to-neck -neck in competition with Netflix are not far away. Tech Radar, the number one event for business and tech innovation, rated Netflix a 5 out of 5, while Stan bagged a close 4.5 out of 5. I've laid down a very explicated comparison of both streaming services in front of you. So before choosing your ultimate entertainment partner, think carefully what suits you best and choose accordingly. I'm sure Netflix or Stan, whichever you pick, won't disappoint you. Both offer amazing shows and movies, both have high quality displays and flexible rates. So what's it going to do for you, Stan or Netflix? Hope this was helpful.